Hello friends, so welcome back to uh, the PLC programming user courses and here I will be going to the Wago IO check how we can do the configuration of the controller the Wago controller and how we can also do uh, the configuration of the different IOs and the bus couplers so uh, let's get started uh, and let's go to the uh, software which is uh, courses so in the courses if you see uh, we have configured a uh, Wago controller and we are connecting to the Wago controller and with that we will scan the, what are the different IOs which are connected so when we scan it we can find the different IO set which are there so once these IOs are co connected we have a software called called Wago IO check uh, using which we can configure those uh, IO and also we can configure the controller so in order to uh, connect using this software we have two options one is the serial using serial port and one is the Ethernet TCP IP so using TCP IP protocol you can directly connect uh, using by providing the correct IP and using serial port we need to have a special cable uh, which comes from the Wago and using that interface uh, we can connect using USB to serial or we have the serial to serial uh, cables uh, which can help us to connect using serial ports so uh, let's go to uh, TCP IP first so I will be configuring here using TCP IP protocol uh, but before that let me show you how exactly uh, this serial port also works so when we select uh, the serial port in the connection uh, we cannot find any port configuration here because there is no cable connected so uh, let me show you how exactly this cable is connected into the Wago controller so if you see here we have a port on the bottom of the controller which is right now open and there we have to connect uh, the special cable which is USB to serial cable uh, which I'm going to connect here so let me show you so this is a cable which got connected there and once it is connected we can see that uh, we will get the COM4 which is on which this USB got detected now if we select this TCP IP we have to provide the IP of the controller and based on the IP we need to we will be getting identified the which controller is connected and we have to click on this uh, identify or even we can go to the node and read configuration so from these two places we can uh, con uh, connect so let me uh, I have clicked on the identify so it will take some time to connect with the controller and provide all the information into work wire check so once it get detected yeah so if you see it is showing the same configuration what we have done the hardware so uh, if I go to the code says it is in the run mode we have to first make it in the stop mode okay and then uh, we can go to the settings and we can see that uh, uh, our Wago controller settings how exactly it is configured we can be able to see it using Wago Ethernet setting so when we click on the setting the Wago Ethernet setting uh, so, uh, uh, software will open the application will open and so that we can be able to set all the different configuration for the Wago controller so interface 1 2 everything and even we can go to the uh, web visualization so we can configure everything here uh, which runtime we want to use and different uh, diagnostic and the states status of different uh, uh, field, uh, field bus and everything we can get it here and uh, when we have to write we have to click on the right now uh, if you can have to configure any of the IO so where the IO which are supporting uh, on when we click there it will show their setting will get enabled and we can go and configure this uh, different IOs so all the configuration are shown here so we have like uh, how exactly the smoothing should happen whether it has to be activated deactivated so all the parameters you can be able to configure it here for th that particular IO okay so what should be the reference voltage this is uh, basically a strain gauge card which I am using it here and uh, using that so even we can go and do the scaling uh, we can uh, do a calibration check also for these cards okay directly using uh, uh, Wago IO check software okay 
so if you see yeah we can run the uh, linear scaling and also we can do the calibrations by clicking on the set calibration so all those things are possible same thing we can go on each channel uh, and do the configuration for for them okay so when sometime we change the io card for example if you see i have added two extra io card here uh, and uh, when we try to uh, identify it into into the uh, wago uh, io check it gives us error so the error will start coming okay and uh, for that what we need to do is we need to again go back and scan the io card into the codices and uh, import that into uh, the project and once it is getting imported we have to again uh, re-download the code into the controller so if you see i have uh, just downloaded the code into the controller uh, it will take some time to get downloaded and once it get downloaded okay uh, then uh, we can check. So let's uh, let first uh, get it downloaded into the controller or the program. So let's click on the download, and once it get downloaded, it will in stop. So when we go and uh, click on identify, uh, it will give some time errors, uh, but uh, uh, we can click again on identify, and then it will try to uh, check. Uh, all the modules and provide you the exactly the same configuration what is there on the controller so this is the way we can uh, add new control new io cards so now let's go uh, and check so we have serial com also so now uh, let me show you how we can even do it for the field bus coupler so i have a field bus coupler which is connected and uh, let me power it on so right now if you see uh, even the cable is connected but it was not showing any com port so again uh, once the field bus got powered on now we can see a scan and all the details of the field bus coupler will come here so with field bus coupler and all the basically io which are connected so here also it is the same procedure we have to click on the io card and go and do the checking even uh, we can also do the process uh, data so we can see the different process data and we can even enable uh, energize and denize the ios so all those things we can be able to do it here so as you can see uh, for each card we can go and do the process data we can even simulate or uh, the analog output using 4 to 20 uh, simulator for channel 1 and channel 2 okay so those are also possible and we can read it on the input card so when we simulate it from the outside externally so let me change it to uh, monitor mode so in the monitor mode uh, we cannot we, uh, set any output so those will be disabled only uh, it will be under monitoring mode and we will be able to only monitor all the ios that's uh, all we can do on the monitor side so we have two options control mode and the monitor mode so in the control mode everything we can control in the monitor mode we can only monitor okay so let's go to again the settings so for the bus coupler we can do all the settings from here itself so we can go to the network right now for example it is set as a dscp ip i want to change it to a static so i will provide the ip here and if i want to change the host name i can even change the host name also from here directly and after doing all these changes okay we have to uh, wherever we have to do all the changes so we can go and check uh, what are the changes we have to do and after uh, doing all the changes we have to click on the right so once we click on the right it will write it to the configuration of the coupler or if it is connected with the controller and we are doing for the controller it will do the changes in the controller part so uh, or with the i also so everywhere it is the same so same thing we have to do uh, so process uh, remains same for all okay
so uh, we can read back uh, all the details uh, from the controllers by clicking on the read and see whether all the configuration has been done or not or uh, whatever the changes we have done is applied okay another option we have so if it's, if you see we have uh, whatever the names we have provided we have it is coming so we can also restart the coupler after doing the changes or when we have to do a restart for the coupler by clicking on the restart button and it will give us a pop up and continue then it will go and restart the bus coupler so everything uh, we can do it uh, from this particular software uh, for the wago so for the io controller and the coupler at a one time we can configure uh, from this particular software thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one